After installing 12D model, you should have a version 14 icon on your desktop. Double click this icon to launch 12D. We use the open tab to open existing projects, but we don't have any existing projects. So we'll select the new tab and we'll create our 12D model project within the training folder, which was created when 12D model was installed. So select the folder icon to the right of the folder name field and browse to the location C 12D 14 training design getting started basic and then select select folder and this will fill out the folder name field in the project name field we'll type in stage one and we'll leave ticked this create working folder tick box the working folder is used to store project specific files the 12d model project itself is one of these files and as we go, I'll show you some examples of files we'll save in this working folder. Then to create the project, select new. Twelve D should then open, and you can see here the twelve D model workspace. Now when you create a new project, the setup project details panel will be opened and you'll have the option to fill in as many details as you have on hand at the time. I'll just make up a project number 10,000. Job title can be stage one. And I'll fill out the designer name as my name. Then select set to save those details. Now we're not just filling out these details for the sake of it, uh, these details can be used for various tasks, for example, to automatically populate title blocks when it comes time to plot. And these details can easily be added to any data that we export to maintain a record of where that data came from for quality assurance purposes. So we'll select finish. We also have a recalc toolbar, which we can close for now by just clicking the red X. The 12D model workspace is made up of the view space, which contains the views that we can see here, the menus, which you can see across the top of the screen, toolbars and control bars, which can be placed around the workspace as required, the status bar, which helps us navigate through certain features, and lastly, the output window, which is where messages are reported and is also where we'll do any error checking. These will be covered more thoroughly in the next few videos.